Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Scarlett. I'm thinking of doing a makeup video. What, what else do I do? Um, but my birthday's coming up, so I'm starting to think of some outfit ideas and starting to think of some eyeshadow makeup ideas that I can do. I'm going to be going to dinner because my travel plans didn't work out so we're just gonna do dinner which is fine so i'm still deciding on the place i have a few places in mind um but i think i've decided on an outfit so now it's just about deciding on an eyeshadow look so i thought i would use this opportunity to make a video to show you guys what I was thinking and uh, I know in my one of my last makeup videos I did get some someone giving me a, a name of a type of foundation that I think would be better for me in terms of hiding freckles um, the one that I use foundation that I, that I use is the Maybelline Fit Me and I think it's in 102 so it's a very light ivory, very light color. Um, so for a while I've been trying to find a foundation that I think would go better um, or do a better job of covering. Um, I don't mind the freckles. It's just that I feel like if you're going to put a foundation, I want it to look just a lot more flawless and a lot um, better job of covering. So anyway, I was thinking of working out of this palette. This is the Twilight palette, and it has some really pretty colors. I got it at Marshalls for $3 several years ago. But it's a struggle to find a place in this house where the lighting is good and everything. So I'm always trying to find something, a different spot. So I love the shadows in this, and I'm always surprised when I open up a palette and it looks like I haven't used it. I think I have way, or I used to buy so much makeup and I not ever go through it all because I'm not a heavy makeup everyday person. So it's taken me so long to go through any of this, but I used to keep buying and buying it and not really ever going through it. So now I've spelled the last year, I actually I haven't bought a new eyeshadow in probably a couple years now um and the only makeup that i continuously keep buying um would be mascara and um eyebrow pencil or eyebrow um eyeliner and because i only use pencil so when i sharpen it and it's done so i just go get another one and that's it so here are the colors of this one really pretty that purple pops out so I'm gonna be wearing an emerald I think I'm gonna be wearing an emerald green shirt well emerald sequin tank top kind of which if you see I'll link it below my Marshall's haul that I did several months ago um, I showed that shirt if you want to look at it I'll link it below but um it's gorgeous and you know that color goes so nice with my hair and everything so i thought that'd be really nice i think i'm gonna put jeans with it but um i want something more than jeans i was looking at skirts but i think i have a little bit of time to think of the outfit um i know i want the shirt i can wear that with the i don't know anyway so anyway so I want to, the purple, this looks like an olive green kind of, but I don't want it to be too matchy, but I think this purple, I'm going to try this purple, with the base color can be either this last color over here, or this color right here, I think I'll try this color since I don't know how it looks yet. We'll see. I like these. So we'll stick with the shimmers just to kind of make it a little fancy. 
I got this Clinique Pepstart Hydro Rush Moisturizer Broad Spectrum in SPF 20. I wear sunscreen every day. Um, it's just in my moisturizer. It's a 50. Um, I'm actually thinking, oh, look, these itch. I don't see. This is why I just don't wear jewelry. They're already itching. Okay. Um, I am going to do, I normally don't do product reviews. Well, obviously I do because I did my, the nail one, the one for the nail length. Um, but it's not very often that I do, right? So, but I think I'm going to do a product review for the sunscreen that I'm using because I don't care for it. I don't care for it. Um, maybe one day I'll do that. But anyway, this is just the Clinique. We have 20 just under the eyes, a pep start. I think I'll put a tad bit of this. It is hot, hot, hot today. And it's not even summer yet. It's officially not summer. I know some people are like, hello, well, it's summer, but it's not summer, it's early May. And a tad early to be this hot. So here I am thinking this summer's not going to be as bad as last. But, and weather changes, but I'm thinking it'll be just as bad. So I just dab a little bit. When you dab, you don't rub, you try not to rub it because the skin around your eyes is so incredibly sensitive and thin and you can just feel how thin it is. So, I try, I'm not used to it, but I try to rub it. And this is Clinique and I got it I mean, I, I didn't get it from the mall or anything. I just have such wonderful memories growing up. Um, <clears throat> my mom would shop at the uh, makeup counters in the mall, Clinique, Lancome, all these expensive companies. And I would, even to this day, I look at her makeup and it's all these nice brands that I don't get. I could get, but sometimes I see no difference in getting just like something a lot cheaper. But anyway, it was just such a nice memory to look through her stuff and <clears throat> I still look at her stuff when she's still around she's alive and I'm talking as if she's not that's weird but just when I was younger you know looking at the make going to the makeup counter with her and um all these nice brands so I'm weird okay but me I don't know what I'm getting. I tend to be a nostalgic kind of person. Um, so I tend to just like thinking about how the shows I used to watch and the the other day I was watching here on YouTube, I was watching a soap opera from the 80s and it started I think I'm older than the soap opera, Santa Barbara. I think it began in, it was in 84. I was born in 84. But I think I'm two months older than the date that that soap opera started. <laughs> um, I wanted to watch it because it had um, Tawny Katane in it and I just wanted to see her in a soap opera and I really love her. So, but I don't think the person that uploaded those episodes got all the way up to, um, to the season that she actually starts, because I look through it and I don't think it reaches that, that many episodes, so, but anyway, I wonder what else I can see, anyway, 
but it does have on there someone else uploaded a short or actually an episode one episode her last episode that she was on that show in 89 so maybe it wasn't until the later seasons that she was on it but anyway i think i normally use a brown pencil and it's worked for me but i want to see I'll do a very light brow pencil and then I'm going to use some of the brown that's in the shadow palette to see if it comes out different or better. Oh, I'm just going to spill this out. I found this recently. Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. Let's give it a try. So, what do I do with it? Does it make it just darker? Does it take the hair out? Hmm. Sorry, this lighting sucks. Where are my directions? I'm just gonna have to put it on. I guess now is the time to fiddle with different items. Not the night or day of your actual time that you want to get ready is probably not the time. It has these tiny little pairs. And the other side is flat. So the other side is flat, and then this side has these tiny little hairs. Brush, I guess I should say. How do I need to brush it? Up volumizer, right? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a makeup person. Oh, oh interesting. And then I can do whatever else. Oh, it did wonders for that corner that I always have trouble with. Well, I just can fill in the rest here very lightly. Oh my gosh, I'm going to use another light. I can just use the pencil to fill in the rest, but I think this just kind of darkens it. Fills in. This lighting sucks. I probably should be facing the other way, but... Okay. Even my mirror sucks. <laughs> Hold on. Looked in the mirror. Oh my gosh. And you can see it right here. It fills it in. I am in heaven. This is a game changer for brows. If you've watched me for a while, you've heard me complain multiple times about how hard it is being a redhead and found finding brow products that work with my color or just me in general just not being extremely knowledgeable on using um different brow products also but just finding an eyebrow pencil or something like that that's closest to my color so i always tend to get a brunette or something just because i don't have to because i notice when i get a blonde it's very very light 
and so I have to like put it even more and then it just makes it look really bad versus like the brunette is already kind of dark so I don't have to put as much pressure but oh my gosh I love how I did it and then I just filled in the rest with the brow pencil and I am in heaven it's so old that product I don't even know if it's still around that's how like this is so old I imagine that I don't even know if it's still around I have to get another one so this is a blonde so in this case the brown would be too dark this is mascara brow mascara mascara for brows I am in heaven and it's so easy to use I pray that I can replicate this look on my day because if I just do this so my major problem areas that I have difficulty even with the brow pencil is right here where I have no hair um, and it's barely growing in I've been putting um, minoxidil serum or uh, cast oil or whatever I can to get them to grow but I think it's just due to over plucking back in the day to where it just doesn't grow I don't know what happened they just don't grow so if I could always just find a product that just makes it easier for me to fill them in especially that area and just in general I will take it so I'm in heaven I actually had a really easy time using this and it's in a really good color and I'm going to see, I could probably at least get an on this one, but I'm going to see if, um, wow, and just look how easy it was to do, and I just filled in the rest with the brown pencil, and I am in heaven, and I like because it is a little wet, so it kind of stays in place, oh my god, okay, oh my gosh, but do you notice how they look kind of thicker, okay, I think I found the holy grail for me to make it easier. Okay, but anyway. Okay. So let me start with my makeup. Okay, let me sorry I got distracted. I think we just found something to do on the birthday weekend. Okay. So I'm gonna start with a base color of this shade right here that I said I was going to do because normally I like to use this color but I think I'm going to do that something different um okay it feels just awkward sitting like this I feel like I really need to change where I am okay I'm not going to do foundation because I am going to look at. I'm going to go back into that comment and see which one that person was talking about and see if I can find it. Uh, looking for a good foundation in just two colors. Or I wonder if I should just apply more of that foundation and not the powder because the powder makes my skin really dry. I don't like the powder. I use the Maybelline Fit Me powder and I don't like it. So it just looks immediately flaky and you just, ugh, it looks bad. So stick with just the foundation. Maybe if I play more than normal. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So we're going to use. I'm kind of cold on me. Put down the AC. So this is darker than I thought. But I.
I'm gonna move. This is annoying. Okay, I think I found my spot. Okay, so, and you can see the color so much better here. Okay, so I do like the, this shade as a base color. So it was, that one, and it came out, it's like a dark champagne, but then it came out a little more pink than I thought it would, but that's okay, because I really kind of see up here a little natural highlighting, but I think I'm going to add even more. that. Very nice. I'm already gonna just use this and clean it up right here. Always brush up to make the eye appear, you know, up. Anyway. So that I like already. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm a mess here. Um, I like that already, and it's not too dark. It's really pretty pinkish shade. I like it. And I am going to add that purple shade, but I feel like this alone is just nice. But especially for out, I don't want it to be too crazy. I'm not going to a club, even though I kind of wish I was. <laughs> but... And it's been the last time probably like eight years ago because yeah <laughs> but but as you get older the, those places are kind of like uh, all the people you meet and stuff so I'm just gonna put it right here and see how dark this comes Just gonna put it on the lid and so when you look down you have that little pop of color which I like to do so this is perfect it has been a long time since I've done anything like that just because it's harder when you have kids and stuff you can't be that's pretty can't really be doing that. Well, you can, but in our case, we don't have anyone to watch them and stuff. So it's really hard when it's really just you guys. And they're too young for sleepovers, so um, and you wouldn't want to show up someone's house at, like super late. So it's just not a realistic. Thing. Which is fine. Like, I don't miss that at all. Trust me, it stops becoming fun after a while. <laughs> and I'll just keep cleaning it up as I go. But I think that is so pretty. And I can put more just to... Let me just clean this up. is very nice and if I wanted to add more I could add more but I think now I'm just going to do that little pop of color in the right in there This alone is so nice. I have to remember, I'm going to take a picture of these colors so I remember what I'm going to use. I'm just going to remember to go back into this video. I love the way I did the brows with that new product, new to me. And I love the, that color that I picked for that base color. It's super pretty. And I am loving this look. Okay. 
I just like to always go underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this right here because it just looks so nice by itself. So I'm going to do eyeliner. I do have lately I've just been using shadow, brown shadow or whatever color to do eyeliner and staying away from the black pencil. I want to find a brown pencil but I cannot find it so I've just been using my brush and in this case I'm going to keep it fun and last time I used a blue but maybe there's that maybe this green an olive green which is still dark It'll appear as a brown. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm happy with this. Okay. Lips. So the only thing I grabbed was this lipstick. I can put a little bit of gloss with it. Um, this is the Revlon 463 Sassy Mauve in a cream lipstick. And then I can always put a little bit of this pinky ice eyeshadow as a shimmer. And I can always, I love this shade, use a gloss. But I love this color. Pretty. Can use just a tiny bit. Oh, that icy eyeshadow. Icy pink, whatever it is. Okay. And a little bit of blush. I just run my blush brush over some of the pinky shadows. I just kind of do that look. Okay, mascara. I have three here. And I always just do the great lash because it always works really well for me. I also have the Polymizing Fibers Essence with the fake. Um, this is one that I like as well. Um, it's one of the newer ones that I've got. I got it at five below and I really like it. So I guess I can try it. I haven't used it in a while just because I've been using these, um, oh, sorry. Um, so this is a thicker brush than the other ones. It's easier to make a mess with this one. I like it. I like it. It works very well. 
I made a little bit of a mess there because that happens when I use to clean it up, I guess, and destroy the eyeshadow in the pro or eyeliner in the process. But either way, so wow, I'll go with this. I really like it. Very pretty. Very pretty. I think I like this one. I like it. Okay. Well, anyway, this was just a quick, quick little video that I wanted to see what colors I could come up with. I really like this look. Very pretty. And I think it'll go really nice with my emerald sequin um, top. Little pretty pop of color. And my hair down. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Okay. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video here. I love how my, on camera my hair looks orange, but I like it, actually. <laughs> okay, anyway, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.